Hey, it's uh, Dylan here. Um, I'm making another video today, and uh, this one's going to be another review. This time, instead of it being an accessory, it's going to be the actual product itself, and it's going to be the iPod Touch 5th generation uh, product bed version. As uh, you can see here, I'll just let it focus up. You can barely see it, I'm not sure. It says there, product red. Anyway, this is the uh, iPod 5th generation, not 4th, 5th generation. Of course, the 5th the generation introduced the new color scheme. The 4th the, the, um, the, uh, generation only had black and white uh, facing here. Um, the, the iPod 5th generation does come in black, but the back is only silver and black, I'm pretty sure. Um, the ones with the colors, the uh, color backs like blue, green, yellow, pink, um, um, red as you can see, they all come with a white face instead of a black face. Um, of course this is a lot larger than the old um, iPod. Uh, it is, I'm pretty sure, the my iPod here that I have, or my iPod 4th generation is the height of the, the entire the, the entire body of the, of the of the iPod is about that tall. So the screen is de the screen is definitely bigger. Uh, yeah. Um, I'll just go over the fact that uh, the camera here is updated now. I'm just focusing on that one. I'm not sure. Uh, all I know is that this there's some LED flash here. Uh, that's your microphone. Um, there's our lock button here. Our lock um, button, power button, same thing. Um, it's actually much uh, much more sensitive. I like it a lot. It's clickety. Uh, mine, mine, my old one got stuck on my old iPod. Uh, here we have the uh, band here. I'm pretty sure this um, this here improves, or it, it at least it uh, it makes the uh, your your internet connection or Wi-Fi ability uh, much better. Uh, here we have the volume rockers. So there's down and there's up. As you can see, I'm not no, I'm not sure it's gonna adjust. Uh, here we have the home button home button here. Let me just let, let's just let that focus. It is kind of dirty because I do have a a, a screen protector on here just to make sure my screen does not. Uh, uh, scratch. Uh, here we have the um, the uh, you can put your uh, USB uh, lightning cable into this to charge it. Um, you can put it in both ways, so it doesn't matter. Uh, with the uh, 32 pin one, it's the 8 pin one. Uh, here we have the uh, speaker, uh, which has um, five uh, sort of uh, speaker holes. Um, it is much louder than the last uh, one for the old iPod, but I find that it it would have been it would have been better if they had two speakers on each side and then had the uh, 325, 3.5 millimeter jack up here, and of course, talking about the 3.5 millimeter jack, here we are right here, uh, outlined in white, so it's much easier to see against the red. Um, back here we have the loop, which basically uh, right here, this little silver dot, you basically just push it in to take it out, push it back in. You basically there's a little cable sort of thing like a loop, and you just put it in around there and it will lock itself in. Um, the screen I say is I, I would say is much more responsive and the home button is as, as well the old iPod was less responsive. Uh, I am running iOS 7 here 7.1 I'm pretty sure 7.1 as you can see it's 134 in the morning in the evening or in the afternoon. Uh, I got your iPod Apple symbol here. Um, I will show you a little bit of the uh, performance oh. I'm actually, wait, that, that's actually a bad idea. I don't think I should do that. Let me just unlock it real quick. All right. So as you can see, um, there is a sort of uh, look to it. Uh, it's the parallax effect, uh, basically where you rotate the uh, the iPod or the iPhone. It's the same. Uh, it has the same effect on both the uh, on the, and the iPad as well. Uh, it has this effect where it looks uh, as if the app icons are floating above the the wall uh, the wallpaper. Then here you have your dock, and um, I'm pretty sure I have it so that it's not translucent, but uh, or it might be. And basically, you just go adapts to the wallpaper. If it's blue or it's green, the, the that will adapt to the color, the main color of it. Let's just focus again. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Just, yeah. So I currently have um, BBM because I have um, people that I talk to, kick uh, Google Maps, things like that. Um, I will quickly do a performance. Uh, let me find an app that I can play. Um, ah, Tiny Wings, that's fun. Turn this up a little bit. As you can hear, the speaker is really good.
I'm not very good at this game, so, uh, don't hate. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not really good at that. Uh, basically, double tap to uh, get your apps here, and you can, you if you swipe up, you can delete them, or you can uh, turn them off. So just swipe that up, and it will quit the application. I'll just do that right now. Also, it it it'd be best to do this if you don't want to uh, have too much, uh, of, because they they do they do run in the background, so like, they will take up some battery to um, to run. Let me just take all these out, and you can also bring it right here. You can have take three fingers like this, stick three fingers on and swipe up oh, card. Swipe up like that. I didn't do three there, but I did one. So let's just swipe up, swipe up. So let's let's just turn off all these applications. Oh, there's a lot of them. There's a couple more. Sorry for the delay. Oh, I don't want that. I do not want that. Please stop it. Thank you. Alright, all right, there we go, back to the home. Um, I do like the, uh, I do like iOS 7. Oh, one second. I do like iOS 7. Ah, oh, god, sorry, I'm sorry, this is, I don't know, if, yeah, there we go. I do like iOS 7 a lot because the, uh, I, I think the color palette is very bright, and, uh, I didn't, I didn't, I liked iOS 6, but I didn't like it as much as I like iOS 7. The colors pop out more, they're more, they're brighter, they have a better look to them. Uh, I do like the app, the app icons. Uh, I'll do a quick, just a quick showing of what the, every single application is. So there's a first time, that's basically like, if you know what Skype is, this is basically the Apple version of it. Uh, calendar, of course it's calendar, I think you know that one. Photos, basically your pictures. Camera. Camera. Uh, weather, basically just updates. And I think I'm pretty sure that it shows you the weather in the icon. The clock as well. Map. Videos, video videos. Good. Notes basically just type some stuff up. Uh, remind reminders. There is just I, I think I think the the app, app the app names are pretty self explanatory. You got your game center here. It's basically like a uh, like almost like a like a game service like Xbox Live or PSN. Um, Newsstands for reading newspapers uh, or magazines. Uh, iTunes Store is basically where you can buy TV shows, movies, me and music. App Store is applications, uh, buy applications. Um, Passbook is uh, if you if you if you travel a lot or you do have the ability to travel, and you buy the ticket from your iPod or your iPhone, you can or your iPad even, you can um you can get the ticket around here and then you just scan it and you get to the airport or the train station or where whatever uh, source of transportation you're using. Settings, of course, uh, alter altering the settings on your uh, iPod. Contacts. Um, the voice memos and voice memos are basically recordings and calculator. And then here I just have a bunch of apps like Snapchat, Instagram, game trailers. Uh, low light application I have here, basically just, yeah, you can switch the thing, I'll turn that off. It's kind of annoying. Uh, then music, I do like the music in, uh, in this. I do like how they have the pictures next to them. It, it I don't know why, but I just, I like the look of it. Um, then we have... Messages here, Facebook. I have a Facebook account. Yes, I do. Um, and yeah, I guess. Oh, oh I should, should probably show this as well. Uh, here we go. This is the notification center. Uh, let me just close that real quick. Uh, these are basically just where you have applications and stuff like that. These are all of them. I don't check it. Don't check my notification or my uh, notification center much. And you know, like that. And then you can also swipe up to have all these utilities. Here's the flashlight, as you can see, it works perfectly. And there's the, uh, this is the timer, I'm pretty sure. It'll launch the, the, time, the uh, clock app, or the timer. Um, swipe back up again. There's the calculator. Basically, just jumps right into the calculator. And then there is the camera, which basically just turns into the kind of camera thing. The camera application. And then there's AirDrop, which is an app, uh, a sort of um, a service. I'm not exactly sure what it does at the moment, but uh, if I ever get the chance to use it, I will show. Then there's the Wi-Fi. If you don't want Wi-Fi, you can just toggle that little icon. Uh, airplane, depending on like you can use it. You basically use that, and it turns off all the sort of communication on when you go on airplanes. 
Uh, do not disturb. Uh, basically, if you are uh, sleeping and you're getting notifications from your friends on like my messages where your screen lights up and you, it irritates your face, basically you just press that and it will it'll so it put this little moon thing, this little moon symbol in the top top right corner of your screen, and basically just show you uh, or, or t turn off all notifications. Then there's the uh, screen lock uh, here. Which basically screen, uh, locks the or uh, the orientation, so you can have a landscape or you can have a portrait, and it will lock that orientation. Uh, and lastly, I think I'm talking about the battery battery capacity. I'll say that the battery capacity is uh, pretty good. Um, I do have the 32 gigabyte edition. I'm not sure if it shows it. I don't think it does. Nope. But I do have the 32 gigabyte edition, um, and the battery life is plentiful. I get about. Mm, I would say about a full school day, so about eight to nine hours worth of uh, full battery, and then it starts to gradually go down. It goes down quicker, but then it will say it will be kept keep saying that it's stuck at twenty percent, and then sooner or later it will just die. Um, the uh, what was I going to say again? Um, the, the the camera, pretty sure this is a five megapixel, and then here is a. I'm, I'm actually not sure what this one is, but I do know that this is a much 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 better than the one than the last year. Uh, this was actually the same. If you want to look it up, this is the, this has the same camera as the iPhone 4. Uh, basically, just took it and put it on this one here. Um, and there's the LED flash, and there is also a new uh, with the software. There is a new um, auto um, auto fo auto focus. So basically, if you if your if your picture is out of focus or it's really blurry, then you just tap the screen and it will auto focus on whatever. And it can also uh, fo focus on faces. It can recognize faces uh, and animal faces. I'm pretty sure. So, um, I, that's actually a good review, I think. Um, if, if there's anything I missed, you can just leave it in the comments below. Uh, remember to like, favorite, subscribe if you really want to. Um, you know, comment, I don't really care. Uh, if you want to leave me some suggestions of what I should do next, uh, that'd be cool. I, it, is, it is nice to know what, what you guys want me to do. Um, also, yeah. Yeah, I, didn't, I don't know why I said also. But, um, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, if you liked it, remember to like, subscribe. I'm basically just repeating what I just said, so. Yeah, um, thanks. Bye.